The new study shows an alarming rise in the number of folks with pre-dementia, more than one million new cases each year. It is far more common than originally believed and is rising among baby boomers at a disturbing rate, especially among men. Dr. Ronald Peterson is the director of the Mayo Clinic's Alzheimer's Research Center, and he led the study. Good morning, doctor. Good morning. First of all, give us a definition. What is pre-dementia? Well, this is a condition we call mild cognitive impairment, and it really refers to a state of forgetfulness that is beyond what well, we would expect for normal aging, yet is not fully developed symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. Let's take a look at some of the symptoms. Frequently repeating statements, frequently misplacing items, frequently forgetting details of conversations, events, and appointments. Uh, doctor, who is most at risk for getting this? Well, the people who are at the same risk for Alzheimer's disease, so people in their 70s and 80s, largely have the highest risk of developing mild cognitive impairment. Let's take a look at some of these numbers, and they are startling. One million people are going to suffer from pre-dementia each year. Even more startling, 16 million people are estimated to have Alzheimer's by mid-century. In looking at some of the research here, I know many of your colleagues in the scientific community are calling this a crisis. Do you agree? Well, I do, because if we do nothing about this, we're really going to have a problem when the baby boomers age into the period of risk, which is very near, nearly coming down the road in about... 10 or 15 years, we're going to have a large number of people who are in the age of risk for Alzheimer's disease. Another study I know that from the Alzheimer's Conference discussed the use of statins to protect against the disease. What do you think? Can they help? Well, there's a recent paper published in the journal Neurology indicating that those individuals who were taking statins, a variety of statins, earlier in life had a reduced risk of developing Alzheimer's disease and cognitive impairment down the road. And doctor, I know you have some tips on how we maintain our brain over the years, watch your heart health, do both physical and mental exercise, track your numbers, weight, blood pressure, cholesterol, protect your head from injuries, pretty, you know, obviously stuff we should be doing our entire lives. We talked about the symptoms, doctor, but when should we know? When should we get to the point where we say to ourselves, perhaps we have a problem? Well, I think it's quite common to forget the names of people we used to work with, our recent acquaintances, or where did we put our car keys or our reading glasses. But when we start to forget important information, say uh, appointments we have with our physicians, visits of relatives, and those around us start to notice that we're now forgetting information that we used to remember quite uh -huh. easily, then I think it's a concern we should probably contact our primary physician. Okay. Dr. Ronald Peterson, thank you so much. We appreciate it. You take care.